Hello everyone, welcome back to Fairy Tale Mysteries, the Puppet Thief. I'm Bubonic Zombie, and in the last episode, in the last episode, we found our friend here who told us that he stole a crystal from the Puppet Thief, and once we release him, he will get the crystal to us. He's in this cage right here. I apologize, I have the hiccups while I'm recording this. I'll try to keep those in check. Okay, so we have a hidden object seen here. And there's a seahorse. We have a casket key. Okay. I don't know if that's the key we need. No, we need a potion to free him. Which is down here. Instructions and missing ingredients. We don't even have instructions. The instructions here on the table? No. Oh, there's the casket. Okay, we have a potion book. Okay, so do we need a crystal? Mix a magical potion. Mix ingredients according to the book's instructions. Then add the magic crystal. You will need to mix ingredients to create the elixir. Elixirs needed for the final potion. Okay. And then these three plus the crystal. Whoa. We have a magic potion. Okay. Now we have the potion, we can release him. Oh, is this the boy? We have a purple crystal. Where'd the boy go? Oh, hello. <clears throat> Congratulations! You have faced a darker path than we had imagined. We will care for the child. You have a mission to complete. We will be of assistance where we can. My brother worries over the safety of the townsfolk, and we have cast a spell to place them in a deep sleep. It is using much of our energies. Now for this young man. You are no ordinary child. Older than even we are, combined. Tell me, little one. Have you ever contemplated becoming an examiner? It is an arduous vocation. Let us discuss your destiny, shall we? Okay, so it's pretty powerful magic to cast an entire village to sleep. Okay, hit an object soon. Here we go. We have a lamp oil. Lamp is running low on oil. Okay. Hmm. Oh, we can see a bucket now. Bucket of dirt. We can use that to douse the fire. There we go. We found a ring. Statue ring. Let's go back and put that on the statue. Ah, there we go. Again, I apologize for the hiccups. I've been trying to get rid of them for the past half hour or so. Not going away. I don't know how well you guys can hear them or not. Trap door emblem. Ah, that was a door that was back here. Okay. Okay, let's go down. Wow, this guy's place was really extensive. Okay. Power's cut out. Have to remove the panel. 
hidden objects here. We also have this door. We need a key for that. Okay. Okay, we have a screwdriver now. Uh, connect the pipes. Click on a section of pipe to rotate it. Rotate each pipe and guide the electrical current to each of the batteries. All pipes must fluidly connect to another pipe or battery. There we go. Okay, now we can get there. Ah. It's missing its hands. We have a new journal entry. Okay. What a wondrous invention. I hope I have seen such devices in London. Mechanical objects powered by st steam. The entree and eye, it appears as magic. It looks like a part of the town is powered by it. No doubt it is the invention of a very clever mind that will need repairing. Timekeepers. Time is a wondrous thing. Not at all constant as one would suspect, but fluid and moving. Moving. Any device that keeps time is magically charged. For some time, stand still, moving slowly forward, a thing to be controlled and manipulated. A truly, tr a truly strong magician may use a timekeeper to slow their own age or accelerate the age of another. Okay. That, but I'm looking at the barrier that's right there. Lever won't move. can go back there. Let's take care of this hidden object scene first. There's a line. Steam room key. Okay, let's go back there. Not the clock. Try to go back there. There we go. Brothers were right, the barrier is strong. I can't pass with a po powerful source of magic. Okay. Protecting some sort of house. Pottery shop. Open every day at 8. A sign says open at 8. The panel box next to the door seems to be connected to the steam clock. The dog is forever barking. Everybody is asleep except the dog. Okay. There we go. We have a steam clock pendulum. Okay. Let's go back to the clock. This will be at the pendulum. Okay, we still need the hands. Steam room key. Is this the key? It is the key. Oh, here we go. Another magic gram. It is with great relief that the brothers Grimm have taken the child to be looked after. How many years must have must he have struggled with the puppet thief? The years no longer mark his face, though his spirit is no doubt full of hardships. Were we not on the fate of the child you freed? You freed. My brother has taken to calling him Min. He has been most helpful in leading us to the barrier that surrounds the puppet thief's lair and works diligently with us to break its hold. We have little choice but to focus our energies and efforts on destroying it. If we fail, he will remain undefeated and all of your work will be for nothing. He grows stronger, his wounds healing with every passing mi minute. We must strike while we can. We will come for you soon. Yours, Brothers Grimm. Add coals. We have coal. Here we go. Now we have steam. Valve is missing. Don't have a valve. Okay, we have to stop that somehow. Okay, another hidden object scene. 
There we go. Metal bar. Maybe that will stop the fan. Yes! Oh, we have the hands now! Oh, we just, we just have one hand? I need to restore the steam power to the clock. Okay. We need the valve for that. Okay, we have a hidden object scene here. Hopefully we'll get a valve out of this. There's the flask. We have a brick. I didn't know this above it. Something's in the glass bottom. Can we break the glass? Yes we can! Vandals! Steam room valve, there we go! Is the clock working again? No, levers on the wall seem to be connected to the leaks. There we go. Ah, come on. There we go. Set, set the time. I don't know what time it is! Does anyone have the time? Sign says open at eight. Panel next to the door seems to be connected to the steam clock. Okay, so means it's eight. Yeah. <laughs> Grab the little hand. Here we go. That is a lo loud clock. And now the fuse is broken. But we're inside. Okay, we will get back to this as soon as we can, as well as um, the next episode. I won't have hiccups. I'll get rid of these. I'm sorry, guys. But thank you for bearing through that. Thank you for uh, bearing me with my hiccups. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.